Hey everyone, it's Presley at actoutgames.com here, and today we are making this amazing Claudine Wolf bed. One of our favorite YouTubers, Chad Allen, who we watch a lot and we really love his collections, but our favorite part is his craft videos to go along with the dolls. So we were watching some of his making the doll bed videos and we saw one for Claudine and it looked pretty cool so we're gonna see if we can make it. So here are some of the things you will need. You'll need some foam board. We already cut ours to the measurements in the video. There'll be a link to the video up there if you really wanna see how you're supposed to do it and how you're supposed to make this bed. We're just kind of showing you how we made it. And you're gonna need some, so once you've got these things cut out, you're gonna need some various decoration things to decorate your bed. You can, so you have, so for the bed you have the part where the doll lays on a headboard, a bottom, for it so it doesn't so it doesn't fall over immediately when you put the doll on it and the sides so we have that all here and we already cut it out so if you want to know how to cut it out and the exact measurements go to the link in the go to the video over here so next once you've got everything cut out you're going to need some various supplies to decorate it so the various supplies we have are some fur from our fur suit in fact a little bit of some fur from our little fur, from our fursuit head. So we have this white fur and this orange fur, which match, which is the fur we use for the head. Whoa, Claudine fell over. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And we have this purple fabric, which we are using to make a tail for a purple monkey. I'm going to be in my musical, which I'm doing. And then just some various little decoration things. Some we got from around the house. Some we went and we bought. And so once you've got everything cut out and you glue it together and then you can just decorate it your own way with all the little decorations you might have bought or have around the house. Or you could just, you know, paint it or put some foam over it and then you could keep it like that. So there are, he decorates it differently in the video, but we're going to show you how we decorated it. So after you cut out the pieces before you glue all the pieces together, it's easier to decorate the sides first. So our base for the sides, which some people might use uh, another tie-in of foam, like some craft foam, like pink or purple craft foam. Some people might paint it or draw on it, but we're going to use this really cool purple zebra duct tape and we're going to cover it over the sides. We already tried it on this piece and it looks amazing, we really like it. So we're just going to really quickly do that to the other piece. Now that we've got the sides duct taped on, we're going to decorate them with some of these little giblets. So we have this skull and crossbones with a bow on it, which looks a lot like the skelet, I believe it's called. The These little black hearts with glittery stuff on them. Um, and lots of little stud thingies we found, which we think look really cute and must try. So we're gonna glue them onto here and make make a little bit of a pattern for the sides. And once we finish that, we will show you. So we are done decorating the sides. I think they look really good. They have a little bit of a different pattern on each of them. We did do that on purpose. We didn't be accidentally do this, um, make the different pattern. We did that on purpose to make the bed more interesting. So here are the little sides. So once we have our sides done, we are going to glue everything together and I'll kind of take the shape of a bed. So we're going to glue it all together and I'll see you then. So we glued everything together and it looks a lot like a bed and I'm really, really excited. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna follow what Chad did and we're gonna cover the headboard and the footboard in fur. So we're gonna be using some of the fur we have left over from my fursuit, which I made. And since fur is a little bit hard to deal with, we know this since we've made the fursuit, I'm going to give you some tips of advice on how to deal with fur. So first, be sure that the fur is always flowing the way you want it to be. So if the fur is flowing all weird and if you put it on here, it'll just look weird. So make sure the, fo the fur is flowing the right way, like flow, like the fur is going downwards, is pointing downwards. And then you can put it on and it'll, have, and it'll look a lot better. Second, do not cut fur with scissors. Look on this back part here. Um, if you cut the fur with scissors, it'll have really weird ends. So go on the back part and trace out what you want, like if where you want to trim it, where you want to 
fold it, like trace out everything, and then cut it with an X-Acto knife so the fur looks nicer and doesn't have all weird edges all over it. So I'm going to add the fur, and then I'll see you when that's done. So the fur is on it, and it looks really, really good so far. It's just really good. I love it. I haven't found like any imperfections with this. It probably will hold up Claudine, because when I push on it, it doesn't sag at all. So maybe it's heavy enough to hold both Claudine and Katrine. They'll both be, they could probably both sit on it and it wouldn't like sag over. So it looks great. I love it. So the, this is one of the last parts we need to do, is we need to make some sheets out of this stretch velvet fabric, which is stretchy and purple, and we're using it for a monkey tail that I'm making for my musical. So we're gonna use this for a sheet, so we're gonna attach it on here to make a sheet so it's not like white and kind of plain. So we'll do that, and then I'll get back to you. So the sheet is now on the bed, and it looks really, really cool. And we even followed Chad's advice and made a little pillow out of some white velour, and we filled it with batting. So it looks really, really cool, and I love it. So the last thing we need to do is we need to take this um, spiky band we, we found, and we're gonna hot glue it to the top of the bed, and it's gonna it's probably gonna look really cool because we love this. This looks really monster high, and we'll see what Claudine thinks, and I'll get back to you then. So we finished the headboard and added the spiky things, and I think it looks really, really cool. And we have this book in here, which I made a while back. It's just a simple book. It's made out of some cardstock and paper. It's just a strip of cardstock stapled to some cut-up strips of paper. That's how simple it is. It's, and I wrote Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone on it. And we had this extra piece of fur left over, so we thought it would make a pretty cool comforter. So she could both be, so she could be actually under a blanket and not just sitting on the little sheet thing okay so we also had this ex another extra piece of fur from the little bottom of the footboard from the footboard and we made it into a little rug the rugs still a little bit of a work in progress but it looks pretty good so far so I'm gonna put the Claudia in the bed and I'll show you what it looks like with her in it She looks like in her bed if you want to know actually how to make the bed and not just what it looks like in the different stages then go to Chad Allen's video and check it out it has the full instructions the measurements you're supposed to cut and it has all the instructions check out his other video he has tutorials on how to make beds for lots of different dolls he has Laguna he has quite a few dolls um, with bed tutorials. So if you have a doll that's not Claudian, go check out his tutorials. He'll most likely have a bed for it. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.